So what's up guys, it's Tommy here, welcome to my video. So today we are flying from New York to a airbase uh, in uh, that is uh, around 60 miles away from us. Uh, it is for the Friday night flight and we have already finished filing our flight plan and we're gonna be pushing back. And by the way, I need to close all my doors before doing that. Close ramp and close side doors. And for a better view, you can Maintain do this, yep, speed. like Delta that. And the door is checked close, and we're gonna push back. So for this specific type of aircraft, it's kind of special, cause uh, the C-130J uh, version, I think older version does not have a push back option, so what we can do is we're gonna apply full reverse throttle so we can let make the propeller push us back, generator power to push us back. And today we're gonna be taking off from runway 31 left. Making a little bit turn right now. Delta and this airplane I think is um the uh, Hurricane Hunter version. Yeah, if I didn't make any mistake, it's the Hiring King Hunter version. And we're trying to get Roger. on with the taxiway. It's gonna take a while. The pushback track is more efficient than this one. And there we go. We are have uh, finished pushing back and we're gonna set our flaps to 20 degrees because we have eno enough runway and we're gonna contact ground request taxi John oh my god air china 872 super ready to taxi air china 872 super taxi to runway 31 left contact tower when pretty good ATC as i expected we're taxiing to 31 left ready to taxi to runway 4 left to and to we need to Air apply China more thrust in order to taxi, I guess. Taxi or I should left. adjust the um, weight and balance. Ready. Normal. Yep. That's gonna get us faster. Not really, but yeah, faster. Now let me check my taxi routes. Yes. We're turning right here. Taxiing to runway 4 left. Air Canada 931. So comparing to the other airports, I think the JFK's mapping is better. Yeah, the mapping is better and the taxi is gonna be a really long time, so... And now we're at the end of the runway and we're going to be contacting uh, Tower for takeoff as free one left. Departing straight out. John F. Kennedy Tower, Air China 872 Super, ready for takeoff at runway 31 left. Departing straight out. Waiting for the response. Air China 872 yep. Clear Super, takeoff. runway 31 left. Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 31 left. Air China Apply thrust. Turn super. our strobe lights on. And landing lights. Since we have our clearance. So we're gonna do a normal performance takeoff. And talking about the infinite flight update. I have been John waiting for it for a long time. <laughs> and they still didn't. 
release it. So, yeah. Departing straight off. You know, they are doing work on it, so you yeah, just be, be patient and it's gonna come American out somehow. Runway three one right. Cleared for takeoff. And we're gonna Cleared have the airport airplane Runway parallel right. with us. American and uh, let me collaborate. And uh, full throttle and we are done. Off with our takeoff roll. The rotation speed around uh, 130, I guess. Flight of two. You're in an active airspace. Please contact John F. Kennedy Tower on one And there's big wind, so yep. There's our rotation speed, and let's go. John F. Kennedy Tower, Air Canada 931, ready for takeoff at runway four left, remaining in the pattern. And gears up. Making sure we are staying on the Air runway and stabilizing the aircraft. We got Line pretty big turbulence today, left. huh? Air yep, and there's a and flap zero. There's somebody behind me. Damn. Another three one thirty. He might be flying with me. And turning on auto thrust. And we're gonna be turning on the autopilot after we are on bay on um, crosswind. And it's not really good weather in New York today. Got do some uh, make some effort to keep the plane straight and level and turning right to traffic. crosswind. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 4 left, Air Canada 931. God, it's hard to fly today. Really hard to fly. No kidding. And turning back. We overshoot a little bit. There we go, and there's the autopilot, um, and we are increasing the climb rate and speeding up to 240 knots. And let's see, where's the other, yep, that fly is following me, I guess. And we got a lot of turbulence today, so let me check the weather for JFK. Yeah, that's why it's gasting to 24 knots. It's Yes, we got gas winds today. So we are now climbing to um uh, um fly uh uh what's our altitude? Eight thousand feet, and uh, we're gonna be approaching when we are. And let's see, okay. Yep, and wow, that is some really big turbulence here. And we are gonna actually be descending very shortly. So I don't really have anything to talk about except flying this. So uh, I will fast forward the video and you are gonna see me landing.
So we are now uh, approaching 124. We have announced uh, our inbound. There's no controller here. We are gonna turn on our strobe lights and end the lights and uh, slowing down. And this thing is really hard to slow down, so I'm gonna put down the gears. That's gonna help, I guess. And we have an airplane right behind us. You can see him. And they're trying to get ourselves along with the runway. McGuire AFB Unicum. Hotel 4 is on final. Runway 24. We're gonna do a flaps 50 landing today. McGuire AFB Unicum. Navy 6338. Holding short runway 36. Uh, inform the airport again. We are now three miles final. Runway two four. AFB Unicum. Air China now one south and stabilized. Webs fifty. So for some reason that my f uh, screen recorder isn't working, so I'm unable to provide footage of my landing. So I'm sorry about that. Hope you guys like my video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.